Hey, how you doing? Uh, it's a beautiful Saturday today, and you know I just decided I need to make a tutorial. Um, I didn't know they these were getting made, but there are cabin announcements out for the Phoenix A320, and I'm pretty wowed and pretty darn you know they're pretty good. All right, so far so good. I mean, they're not like the, you know, the, the generic cabin announcements with like a bot voice. They're pretty darn good cabin announcements, and they're pretty immersive, and that's what all, that's all that matters, all right? When you're flying and you hear those cabin announcements go off, you're going to be like, darn, man, I feel like I'm actually, you know, a passenger, you know, when you, you know, switch to wing view or, you know, uh, when you hear it in the cockpit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, this is so realistic. Whatever. Um, but... Here we are in the cabin announcements for the Phoenix A320 Discord. I will link this in the description um, if I can. Um, and you got a list of, uh, so, you know, once you enter the Discord, you got to come down here to the um, announcements uploads. And you got a list of uh, list of um, airlines right here. All right, you got a list of airlines that have already been done. I've only tested out the American Airline livery. Um, or American Airline um, announcements, all right? And they've been working just fine for me. Um, they should work just fine for you um, if you follow these steps correctly. All right, so you go American Airlines, all right? American Airlines, you come in here, and you go, and you find the zip, all right? So you can do this right now. I'm pretty sure this, is, this might be pinned, right? Uh, it should be pinned, but, yeah, this... Um, you got a zip, right? So you download this zip, all right? You come in here, you download this zip, and, you know, let's go to another uh, airline real quick, and you're going to find another zip. So here's the DAL zip, all right? We got a AAL zip, and then we got a DAL zip right here. All right, these are going to be crucial, all right? You want to keep that named AAL, nothing else. AAL, nothing else. All right, so once you download this, um, you're going to go to the... We're going to go to the uh, to the downloads page. So once you download, you're going to get a zip file with AAL, obviously. All right, you open the zip file, and this is what you're going to have in there. You're going to have a bunch of announcement uh, um, uh, files, okay? A bunch of, a bunch of sound files uh, at, at that. All right, so after landing, you're going to have after landing, after takeoff, arm doors. You're going to have boarding music, okay? All right, I tested this out, and you're about to hear it, too, at, this, at the end of this video. All right, you're going to have boarding music, um, you know, boarding welcome, you know, regular airline stuff. It's going to sound real good. It sounds good to me, okay, and I'm I'm wowed, okay? I'm wowed. It's it's good. It's it's whatever. So once you get this, um, you're going to want to find your community folder. All right, so my community folder is kind of located in a weird place. If I go to my D drive and then here, this is what you have for your community folder, okay? This is not the standard community folder location, by the way, okay? For any users that are now coming into Microsoft Flight Simulator and you download this on your regular C drive, all right, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like your freaking user updated local packages, Microsoft with the, you know, bunch of numbers and letters. Um, and then local cache packages and community. Okay, that's what it's going to look like for you. Okay, and that's where your community folder. Mine is, of course, empty because this is where it was once installed. Everything is now moved to the D drive. Okay, so you find your community folder and you want to create a... Next, you want to create a, um, a folder called Phoenix Announcements. FNX Announcements. Okay, Phoenix Announcements. Okay, you, uh, you create that folder, and then you open the folder, and now you need to create another folder inside the Phoenix Announcements folder. Okay, so you create an, another folder called Announcements. Okay, now you open that folder. Now you ha have a spot where you can put the correct um, announcements for each livery. Okay, so for the AAL livery, if we open this. And then we open this side by side. Uh-oh, wrong thing. Okay. So all you can do is you can take all of this stuff. You can hit cut or you can hit copy, all right? And then you paste it in here, okay? You paste it in here, all right? So AAL needs to match up with AAL, okay? So basically, to sum it up, you want to create a folder 
with the correct airline. Okay, so this folder is of course for JetBlue, and if you have a JetBlue um, livery, all right, you're gonna put that. Uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure they don't have JetBlue in here yet. Okay, I am not sure, but they have a bunch of announcements, man. I'm. I'm telling you, they got a bunch of announcements now, and it's gonna get crazy here you know when people get more in depth and all that good stuff it's just it's only going to get more better and realistic all right so go to aal or you can go to jet blue but there's no jet blue right now i'm pretty sure all right but we're going to go to aal all right american airlines all right and you paste all of this stuff in here and that is not it all right so once you paste all of this stuff in here your path for announcements is over, okay? You don't need to do anything else, all right? Let's just go over the path real quick again. So Phoenix announcements, announcements, AAL, put that in there. If you had a JetBlue announcements, it would be Phoenix announcements, announcements, JetBlue, and you put all your JetBlue items in there, okay? So let's go back to the community folder, home page, and let's go down to and find our... Uh, our American Airlines livery. So I'm going to use the IAEs. So that would be right here. Okay. So for some reason, Phoenix didn't, you know, so for the CFMs, you got the liveries right here, all in 4K. But for the Phoenix IAEs, they're all in one folder right here. So if I go to community, Phoenix A320 liveries, they, this might look different for you. I don't know if it does. Um, but you're going to find a livery uh, for American Airlines, okay, or the respective livery that you download. Okay, so if you, you know, if you somehow got a JetBlue freaking announcement pack and you, you know, you go to JetBlue, but we have an American Airlines, so AAL right here with the uh, tail number. All right, so hit that bad boy. All right, this is the American Airlines pack, and then you go to aircraft config. You want to open up your aircraft config, Okay. In the notepad okay so we come in here and what what are we looking for all right we want to make sure it says Phoenix a320 American Airlines standard you know all the American Airlines stuff you want to make sure this is American Airlines it's all that's literally all you want to do all right but the main important thing here is the ICAO airline okay ICAO airline okay this is the only thing you want to make sure is correct you want to make sure it says ICAO airline equals quote quotes Quotations, man, I forgot brain fart right now what that is. All right, quotations, um, AAL, okay? You want to make sure it says quotations AAL. Or if you were in a JetBlue livery, all right, let's go back out here. Let's go to JetBlue. Let's go to aircraft config. You want to make sure it says ICAO Airlines JetBlue, okay? You want to make sure these liveries are the are saying the correct thing okay they need to be saying this and it was this is how it is default but if it's not like this you need to you need to make sure it says it okay because that's how this bad boy in here hold on that's how the announcements know what they're doing okay that's how the announcements know what they're doing um, that's how the announcements attach to each livery okay so when you load up a livery it's gonna know to draw from the American Airlines um, sound pack you know what I'm saying? So ICAO Air airline equals AAL. And if my directions weren't clear enough, all right, there's always directions in here. Okay. Um, this shows you the, the path. This shows you what you need to have. So ICAO VLG for VLG. All right. You know, all that's good stuff. Okay. This is the cabin announcements for the Phoenix A320 Discord. And now we're going to showcase the sounds i hope this was straightforward for you all right if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments and thanks for watching